<coughs> coughing, something that has been quite taboo since COVID. But coughing is actually a very important thing that we do to keep our lungs safe and healthy. When food or liquid enters the wrong way, the natural and healthy response is to <coughs> cough them out. However, after a stroke, it's common that patients lose that ability to feel something going down the wrong way. This is bad news for everyone. The patient is likely to develop a chest infection, substantially increasing their length of hospital stay and risk of death. But it also costs the health system a lot of money to manage pneumonia in hospital patients. So, a cheap and handy little test has been developed to help us identify these patients. The cough reflex test. For this, we put a face mask on them and get them to inhale irritating mists of citric acid for 15 seconds. If you and I were to inhale this mist, there is no chance that we are going to avoid coughing. So, when we come across a patient on the ward who doesn't feel a thing, alarm bells are ringing. But here's the problem. We all breathe so differently. I may breathe way faster and way more deeply than you do in that 15 seconds. Does that mean that you perhaps might need more of the acid to make you cough? Our current way of cough testing does not factor in if they breathe in four times or 400 times. It makes sense that inhaling more citric acid would cause more irritation in our airway. But currently, we only factor in the concentration of citric acid that makes patients cough and not how much of it they inhale. So for my master's research, I will be testing people's cough to see if more of the same irritating mist is more likely to make you cough. I'll have 16 participants attend two sessions. During these sessions, they inhale different concentrations of the citric acid, but all of them will only need to be inhaled once for one session, and for the other session, they inhale the same mist, but this time they do six inhalations of each one. I'm going to see if they cough at a lower concentration when taking six inhalations, which is what we might expect given that they are inhaling a much larger amount. I can't wait for the results. This is really exciting because there hasn't been any research that looked into this before. If the number of inhalations does matter, this would change our clinical thinking in that we need to relook at how we can better identify if a patient is at risk of pneumonia or not, which is really important for our health system in managing costs and resources but more importantly, it's for our patients and their families as well. So stay tuned for my thesis and thank you for listening.